Oh my god! <laughs> All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, one of a kind, back at it again, guys, with another restoration kind of build video. So today, guys, uh, as you guys can tell by the title, here is our 2013 Tahatsu 3.5 horsepower, four-stroke motor. And you guys will never believe what I paid for this thing. I paid $300 for this thing. Now, you're probably wondering, for 2013, what's wrong with it? I mean, even the three and a half horsepowers go for about $1,000. So you guys probably think, what's wrong with it? First off, gas tank needs to be uh, replaced, fuel hoses need to be replaced, and the carburetors need to be cleaned. Now, you know, it's a little bit of work, but uh, something your boy negotiated in the deal was, for one, this $100 motor stand, you know, so this is gonna be awesome for future projects. We got this motor stand, and also if we go over to the box over here, here's all the parts we actually need for the entire build. So, pretty freaking sick, guys. We got a new gas tank, we got some hoses right here for the fuel, and we got a new gas cap. The gas can seal like we got everything here we need to do for it so what we're going to go ahead and do tonight guys is we're going to go ahead and rebuild the gas or we're going to change out the gas tank we're going to go ahead and change a few hoses and then uh tomorrow or whenever we pick up with it we're going to clean the carburetors out and then she should be a good running motor and ready to get back on the water so uh let's cut right to it Alrighty, guys so here's inside the actual motor so gas cap doesn't even go back on it's busted so thankfully we have a new one um, so here's the whole gas can assembly. Um, it being such a small motor, it has one. So all it's already unbolted, which just kind of sucks because we're gonna have to get new bolts for it. Uh, the new one. Doesn't come with it. So right down here, guys, is we really just have to unclip this, which uh, goes to the fuel switch down here, and then gives gas to the engine. So we're gonna have to unclip this, uh, put a new fuel hose on the other, the new, uh, the new gas tank up here, and then uh, yeah, so. So as you guys saw, we got our new gas tank assembly here on the actual outboard. Super simple. I don't really know what the struggle was. I mean, you really just put the new gas tank on the piece of plastic, put the new uh, rubber seal, and then you just put the new gas uh, cap on there. So that's all on there and everything else. So now what we got to do, guys, is we got to put a we got to cut a hose that goes from the gas tank down to the fuel switch, which is on the floor right now. So we got to do that. And then we gotta add another fuel hose that goes from the fuel switch over to the carburetor right here. And then she should be able to go ahead and fire up. We'll give her some fuel, we'll see what she does. Cause I mean, hey guys, you never know. You never know, she might actually fire up first pull. I mean, I, I truly believe this is a good running motor. Um, so we'll get her running tonight. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and clean the carbs. And I'm actually thinking too guys, it's not really gonna hurt to go ahead and change the oil and uh, change the lower unit gear uh, loop fluid or whatever. So just, you know, for the next guy that gets the motor, I want I want to make sure they're getting a good piece of piece of hardware. So uh, let's get right to it, guys. I have a feeling this motor is going to be a great, fantastic running motor. So uh, let's go. Let's get her up and running. Cut to about right, right here, right? Alrighty, guys. So as you guys saw with the parts that we had, we put on a new fuel tank assembly. Uh, we got our new fuel tank seal cap, actual tank. The only thing we don't have tonight, uh, we're going to go tomorrow or something. We don't have the bolts to actually hold it in. Kind of sucks, but it's whatever. So what we did, guys, we uh, reattached the uh, fuel line, and then we got a new. Here's right here's the fuel switch. I've never really seen this on an outboard or the smaller outboards, but there's a fuel switch that you know cuts and gives it fuel or whatever. Then we added a new fuel line that goes all the way to the carburetor right here. So I know it looks a little whack right now with the zip ties, but what we're going to be doing, guys, is um getting fuel clamps tomorrow. We're both really just excited to get this thing up and running and see how she runs really and uh, and yeah so. Everything's really connected. We're ready to put gas in her and uh, you know see how she runs. And then uh, yeah, uh, we'll do we have the carb clean tomorrow. Make sure everything's running good. We'll do a full service. And then yeah, we'll get her out in the water, guys. So uh, let's go and put some gas in this bad boy and see how she runs. Alrighty, guys. We got the muffs on her. We got the fuel tank all in. We got fuel in her. So uh, let's go ahead and try to start her up first. So let's go ahead and turn our fuel on. Kill switch is already on. Got our thing to start. Fingers crossed she starts, boys. Alrighty, guys. So it's a brand new day, and um, we're gonna go ahead and take the carbs off of this. Uh, kind of see what we have to do to it. Um, to, you know make sure she runs because right now 
the carbs need to be cleaned 100%, and um, I think I know what's wrong with it, but we gotta go ahead and take it off, make sure we don't need a new uh, gasket. So, uh, yeah. We got Baloo Boy helping us. Alrighty guys, we got the carburetor off. Not gonna lie, I'm very inexperienced, don't really know too much yet. This is my first time actually messing with the carburetor. So uh, let's see if we can go ahead and pinpoint the issue. I mean, I've uh, watched a lot of videos and stuff, but you know, watching videos and doing it is a different thing. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and let's see if we can actually pinpoint the issue. Now I'm no genius guys, but when I see all this fuel, and looking inside, it looks pretty clean, but I'll take the screw out in a second. I don't see, I can't see through it, and that's not a good thing from what I've watched, because if you can't see through it, that means fuel is not getting to your engine over there, which will not let it run. So, um, and that kind of proves our point, all this fuel that's on the plate, you know, because we tried starting it the other night, um, that just fuel's just not getting through. So we gotta go ahead and take this thing apart and, um, you know, just kind of pretty much just clean this little screw so that fuel will get to the engine. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so we found the culprit. So this is a little dirty, but it's not really too bad. All in all, the carburetor looks pretty clean, but the uh, little parametric screw that goes into here, guys, is usually, you know, the problem. You know, it allows for fuel to get in and everything else, and it's usually clogged up, and you should be able to see through it. So you were able to see through it, but not as good as you are able to see through now. You guys could see the blue sun through that. So that means we should be uh, all good to put this thing back together, put it back on the engine, and she should fire right up now. So let's go ahead and reassemble our cars and, and yeah. guys so here is the world's tiniest impeller right here so from what I've seen guys this is the hardest part is to get this thing back in here um, you have to make sure all the fins are going in one direction and putting this thing in here is not an easy task so if we try to squeeze this thing in watch me fail Got our motor assembled, guys. And um, everything's on, all the top units on, lower units back on. That was a big pain. Um, so now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put some fresh uh, lower unit gear lube in. So it's pretty easy, guys. I got this little pump from Walmart for like a couple bucks. And then I went to the boat store to get this uh, lower unit gear fluid. And that was like around 10 bucks. So we'll add that to the build. Um, so right now, guys, we just have to go ahead. It's already drained. We have to go ahead and unscrew this. And unscrew the top, pump this bad boy up, and we should be good to go ahead and start. Alrighty guys, so you guys saw us rebuild the carburetor, change the spark plug on this thing, we completely Rebuilt this thing. We just <laughs> towed our really heavy John boat um, from our house to the lake. So we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go ahead and test this uh, little motor out on the lake. It's a little 3.5, but for this little boat, it should go zooming. So it's the ultimate test to see if this thing works. And uh, fingers crossed it does, guys. So let's get it started. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we're on the lake here. Uh, it took a little while, but we got the motor in the lake. And uh, fingers crossed, she fires up now. So we got the gas on. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're moving! Woohoo! Fairly fast, actually. We're moving!
Yo, she's going! She's going! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh my god! <laughs> she's moving! Dude, you're she's making... being water good too, guys! The impeller system's working really good! Dude, we are flying. <laughs> it's not that loud. I thought it'd be louder. Oh. Dude, we are making some serious wake though. I know. This is max speed. Is it really? Yeah. Alrighty guys, now it's time to go to the money spent chart. So this motor itself cost me $300 for the motor. So as you guys uh, know, I got the motor, the gas tank, everything else. Um, got the stand and a little gas can all for 300. So we got some extra assets in the deal. Um, now what we did go ahead and do to the engine, uh, we did $5 for a new spark plug. Might as well change it out guys. It's kind of part of service in the engine in my opinion. So I went ahead and changed new spark plug, five bucks. So we got five dollars for hardware. Um, the gas can, the gas tank uh, didn't have the screws, um, and we needed some hose clamps. So five dollars for uh, hardware, and then to service the lower head, uh, gear fluid, uh, and then to do the, um, we needed some marine grease, um, and all, that was twenty-five dollars. So all in all, guys, we're in the uh, motor for three hundred and thirty-five dollars. Um, plus about 10 hours of my time. So it did take a lot of time to diagnose the motor. It took a lot of time to fix it. Um, and time is money, guys. So that's one thing to consider about how much money we're about to make. So it took me about 10 hours to get this motor back up and running. And she runs great, guys. I mean, you guys saw me take her out on the lake. Um, she runs great. We're invested in her for about 335 bucks. And um, yeah, guys, it, it, it didn't take too, too long. And I mean, it, it would definitely would have been faster if I knew what I was doing, to be honest with you guys. But this is my first ever motor, like actually like working on it and fixing it. And for my first motor to actually like work <laughs> and bring it back to life is fantastic. Cause I mean, I bought her as a non-running motor, guys. So I'm super, super excited. I got this nice little four-stroke Komatsu up and running. Um, shifts in the gear great, you know, everything's great about it. So um, now we're on our way to go sell it, guys. And uh, I'll report back and see how much profit we made. So let's cut to that. All right, guys. So I went ahead and sold the motor about a couple days ago now. And um, I ended up selling it for 500, so I had it listed at um, 700. But the thing is, guys, is that um, it is a little bit older. It's kind of low. It's a 3.5 um, and to hot too. It's not one of the you know top top like a Yamaha or a Mercury or whatever. So I was pretty happy with 500. You know, it still gave me a little bit of um, profit and everything else like that, and more so experience. And um, I learned a lot from it. So that was also really really cool. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of uh, video, and uh, if you did, please uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know you guys did. Um, and yeah, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe, guys. Um, at the time of me recording this, we just hit 200 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. So we're not stopping here. And uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Let's keep running that subscriber count up. And uh, thank you guys so much, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Later. One of the kind, out.